What's up, world? Welcome to the Positive Truth, uplifting and positive news for a more progressive society. Tim, what are we trying to bring? Here at the Positive Truth, we're trying to bring awareness, empowerment, inspiration, optimism, and understanding to communities everywhere. I'm JP. This is Tim. Welcome to the Positive Truth. It's time for another inspirational Monday. Monday Fun Day. <laughs> Monday Fun Day, where we start off with two inspirational stories. Start your week off right. Before we get to that, make sure to like, share, subscribe, rate, and review. Shout out to everyone watching us on Facebook and or YouTube. Yeah. It is Monday. It's our audio visual episode. Shout out to super producer JoJo in the back. On Wednesday and Fridays, we do six. <laughs> we do six uplifting and positive news stories, audio only. Check it out. Follow us on Facebook. Give us a five star review. All that fun stuff, Tim. What's your inspirational story for this inspirational Monday? Oh man, I saw this story and I was like, oh, this is pretty awesome. I actually skipped it and I was like, you know what? This doesn't look good enough. And of course, when I do that, that's the story I choose. So for today, I have a 44 year old farmer who saw people in his village struggling to maneuver things along this, this road. It was just terrible. It went around up some hills, through trees. It just was very difficult to get through. So he decided to do something about it. The reason why I love this story, JP, before I get started, Whenever we see problems in the world, those people that actually get up and do something about it are like my favorite people in the world. Those are the people I'm starting to look up to at the age of 30 right now. You know, where I see some, some kid like see some issue and instead of complaining about it or going to somebody, they get up and do it. And once his, he realized all of his neighbors, his community members are dealing with this issue, he was like, you know what? I know how to do this. His name is Nicholas Muchemi and uh, he's a coffee and tea farmer. So every day he would get up early around 5 a.m., go do his work, all his farm work he needed to do. After work, he would go work on this road. It was about a quarter of a mile. By himself, using his own tools after work, every single day he would work on this road to create a path. 400 meter path, instead of making this road that would take him about a mile to get through when people walked, it took him a quarter of a mile to get through. Was it hilly? It was hilly before. Now it's just a straight path. I'll show you a picture here in a second. It's a cool video we can share as well, which is awesome. But So he's working on this road every single day, you know, using his own tools, no help at all. And then it's finally finished, right? After he finished it, he was like, yeah, I felt accomplished, but I just knew, knew I knew how to do this, so I did it. He wasn't expecting anything from his neighbors, right? Every single one of his neighbors came by, either dropped off a gift or gave him food or something and said, thank you. The kids in the neighborhood actually, or in his community, nicknamed it Muchemi Road, and the last name after him. And then the government found out about what he did his because this own, is what we're supposed to be doing because ex- that's what you know people pay taxes for ex- roads. exactly man so he, the government came in and was like you know what we're gonna gravel it we're gonna upkeep it in honor of your name so they named it muchemi road community gets to use it it's an awesome story and the my favorite part about this whole story jp he was actually uh when he was asked about why he did it muchemi simply replied i was born with the ability to do this i also love what i do and i like helping my community I'm an adult and I had to do something to help people and solve their problems. I feel overjoyed that I did work that makes everyone happy. He concluded with a smile. How awesome is that, man? This is a super positive person who saw something wrong in this community, fixed it, helped everybody out. And it's- It was, a, it was 400 meters, so it was a quarter mile. Yes, sir. That's crazy to do by yourself. It's ridiculous. So he did a quarter mile of road by himself that was uphill or downhill, depending on how you look at it. You see this right here? Look how clean that is, man. Where was this at? In Kenya. In a small village in Kenya, man. That dude is a superhero. I know, man. Look That's at the smile. That's what you pay taxes for. <laughs> like, Big facts. <laughs> oh, you did all the hard work by yourself. Let's, let's go on now. Let's pay for it. Let's name him now. Let's name this road after you, buddy. But no, that's, that's awesome, man. I thought it was super inspiring because, again, like I said at the beginning, when people see a problem and they do something about it, they're awesome, man. That's more than doing something about it. That's, Sweating something. <laughs> that is incredible. So, yeah, everything you said that inspires me like no other. The amount of people that could have done that and have that kind of determination, like... I don't know anybody that would have did that, man. <laughs> Never in my life. Yeah, so shout out to him. Um... Wow, I gotta follow that up. Okay. Take that. No, I'm just kidding. Let's get it, JP. You always got the great ones, man. I, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. I feel like we both got great ones. Mine's about a couple from Japan. Mr. and Mr. Karuki. They've been married since 1956. Nice. And you're married, Tim. So yes, you know, sir. you set goals together. Who saw this? And the goal they set was whenever we retire, we're gonna travel to Japan, go see everything. We've had a family, we've had kids. When we retire, then we're gonna see everything. But 
they can't do it anymore because Miss Baruki, right a year before she was going to retire, she had some health complications, diabetes, and lost her vision as a result. So now she can't travel and see everything. So she got really depressed. She didn't want to leave her home. She was just retired, depressed at home. Not fun at all. Not at all. Doesn't sound like it. Mr. Karuki wanted to help. Of okay. course. Of course, obviously. Yes, do it. And so he likes he had a small garden and he realized that people like stopping by and looking at his little flowers. They're called Jojo, I'm gonna need some help, so I need you to spell this out. Shibazukuru flowers. I think I did that pretty well. I, I thought so as well too. I'm not gonna correct that at all. And so he was like, Alright, I'm gonna spend every day up building up this garden. These flowers they bloom two months out of the year, March and April, and he's like I'm just gonna keep these. She likes how they smell. So it'll make them look nice. This is what this backyard looks like now. Oh too. my gosh, we are looking at a backyard oh, no, that's just purple. Let's see the picture. It's basically a field. He planted seven thousand flowers, Damn. and so instead of them going around and being tourists, it's now been declared a tourist destination in Japan. And so, his wife loves the smell of flowers. She comes outside every day to smell them, and then they get to take pictures and meet people that come by. And then it's brought the whole community together all through this little garden. And I just thought it was a wonderful way to start your week. Dude, JP, <laughs> you know, like, as a husband, he did, like, a, above and beyond. He said, like, dude, how am I supposed to compete with that? <laughs> I hope Edna doesn't listen to this episode. This dude, like, just changed the whole entire community so his wife can actually be, oh, man, that's awesome. That's special in so and many ways. And now they're ways. a tourist destination. They got a little bench. They take pictures with people. Everyone comes out like, we appreciate your garden. We appreciate what you've done. We're trying to be like you, Mary, for so long. He set the bar, man. He helped out his community, and he was just trying to make his wife happy. That's amazing. That's beautiful, JP. I like that one. Man, you got to, oh, I can't. I have no words to say, man. That was like a, a secret one right there. You asked me speech with, with yours. You know I had to come back. You know what I'm saying? Same, JP. I, I'm surprised, man. So, yeah, so Thank check you out the audiovisual episode. We can see all these videos and pictures of this man over here that built a whole road somehow. Facts. <laughs> And Mr. Karuki, who built an incredible garden. We appreciate everyone for listening, but uh, Tim has a quote. Yes, I do. Keep looking up. That's a secret of life. Who's that quote from, Tim? Quotes by Tim. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. We'll be back on Wednesday with six positive news stories. Until then, we're out. Stay positive. Stay positive.